Hey guys, what's up? Sun Giant here, here, and welcome back to some more Mother 3. Last time there was a weird squinty line uh, on my screen, but I managed to fix it and it's gone now. Uh, this is three years out of the future. Old Man Wes's uh, house has been turned into an old folks' home. Besides, uh, his issue for money, the Taz Mill, you know, so now money this year. Uh, and. Yeah, pretty much, and apparently, a uh, I was hoping for that day. And apparently, Duster has been seen at a place called Club Kitty Boo. So we're probably gonna be going there this episode, but right after I get some of my months up, because I need money to go buy uh, some crap. Alright, open all schools. There you go. Right, I'm actually going to withdraw the 30 TP from that frog, and I think I can have enough to buy the kid shirt. So I'll just go shoot. Don't worry, there are more frogs that will, that will issue TP. Yeah, it does. TP stuff. Yeah, I, I have more than enough. Holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding out on using the bathroom too. Okay. Now let's go to the Thomas Bazaar. Dolphin, Ossicle. And I'll buy... For Lucas. I'll buy... Hmm... You know, I could buy the kid's shirt for Lucas, but I could either buy the kid's hat for Lucas and Pony. I'll buy the kid's hat for Lucas and Pony. Yeah, I, I can get the kid's shirt another time it's fine. Right, okay. So let's take the train all the way to Club Teddy Boo then, so that we can go see if the person that people are talking about is Duster. Hello, sir. When's the next train? The train that goes directly to the factories and the station is currently out. The conductor's out on the town. So I don't think the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, then I should just walk it along the tracks. Don't tell anyone I said that though. Now well, we're going to have to walk all the way there then. Let's go then. Wait, 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 wait! It's Mr. T! I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me, but if I try and stop you... So he, I know you won't listen to me if I try and stop you, so here, I'll give you this instead. You got a railway map, yeah. Do you know what the most frightening things inside the tunnel are? Nope. They're not sliver and they're not sliver hens or mushrooms or anything like that. The answer is trains. Trains are the most dangerous things of all time in here. So be very careful not to get hit by any. Thank God I literally just remembered this. Right. So you actually want to do this real quick? Because I'm so dumb and I completely forgot about this. So you can go to the forest and the prayer sanctuary hasn't changed, so... Hello, woman. Oh, a kid from the village, you're so nice and unsophisticated. Okay, okay so if you go to the forest after, uh, right now, there's gonna be a bunch of new enemies. Everything is different. There is a new enemy here that is very rare, which is the black beanling. It's kind of, just find it the same way you, you found the regular beanling. This is the sliver hen, they will drop eggs and over time those eggs will become chicks and then chickens and you can sell them for a lot of money. Uh, let's see, let's see Isaac's house. Ooh. Isaac is camping out now, oh my god. This is a sick house I thought you. you. Alright then. What about his present? Look at something the present. Beef jerky, yeah. Can't get enough of beef jerky. Hot springs. Yeah, I don't think I needed it. I really didn't need that. 
Okay. You actually notice, look, it says PP, um, but no PSI, which is pretty weird. I'm actually taking it to other hands. Right, now there is uh, one item in particular you're gonna wanna get here. Oh, by the way, there's this new enemy right here called the, uh, a really flying mouse. They're basically upgraded versions of the flying mice from chapter one. I know there's one thing you're gonna wanna get here, like I said. Avoid the sliver hands. Right here! Do not fight that thing! That is a great Yam monster, it's like level 40, it's gonna destroy you. So what you wanna do is you wanna go behind it. And you wanna get the Pisces bracelet, that's a, that's a way to get the Pisces bracelet for free. Right there. So that basically means you gotta buy it. That thing is like level 4, it really will destroy you. No! If you actually go to Alex's place, there's nothing there, but Alex's place will be destroyed, indicating that it was struck by lightning. So yeah. Killer cheese! Lucas loves cheese, but sadly, or but sadly, uh, Boney doesn't, so Boney won't get healed a lot if you use killer cheese on him. Yeah. By the way, enemies usually have bounties, so the more so the more enemies that you kill, the more uh, money you'll get, which is actually pretty cool. You, the money won't just randomly appear in your inventory. No, uh, the frog will have it. I think that was Lucas. That was either Lucas or Pony. Got a level two go that. That was right. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the hot spring rest real quick. Then we will go over to Club Tape. because I am so happy I remembered that. It's basically a way to get the Pisces bracelet for free, like I said. Right, bye. I'll see if I do get enough DP. I actually can, I actually can go buy, I can go buy the uh, kid shirt, so I'm, I know I'm probably boring you, just like, oh, yeah, I don't know. But I'm just showing you all the stuff you can do before you leave. So it's a good thing uh, to remember, oh, the fresh egg, fresh egg. You know that will restore you by 8 HP, or you can hang on to it, and uh, have it become, you can hang on to that and have it uh, become, a checker checking and you can sell it for a lot of money. So it's pretty useful, the fresh egg. Right, okay, so you wanna go to the Thomas Bazaar. And uh, you wanna go buy the kid shirt for Luca. Right, okay, so we're gonna go to Thomas Bazaar. And we shall buy the kids shirt for Lucas, and we'll sell the mini charm. Okay, so that is everything. Uh, that's all the clips you can get uh, while you're here in Casmelli for the moment. Oh, I know I keep on forgetting things. Uh, Yado's in has changed. That's now regular in. But there is present right here. Okay, so I'm the present trivia card one. So basically, what trivia cards are is that you can use them on human-like enemies. Uh, you can use them on human enemies in this game, and they will like you will give them questions and they'll have to answer it. But you can only use it while you're in a fight with them. So yeah, and uh, once you once you do that, stuff will happen. Yeah. No, but basically, uh, you get basically they will have uh, some answers for those. Rabble with evil mushrooms, enemies that were also in our phone. But basically they will have the- some of, some of the human enemies that I'm talking about will have the answer to these trivia card questions. Some of them will not. So yeah. Now see, before you go all the way club table, you're gonna- you're gonna wanna- mm -hmm. There's an enemy here called the Squawking Stick, and that has a really good uh, weapon for Lucas. In fact, we're coming up on it right now. Squawking Stick. And you're not going to be able to get this weapon until like, uh, very later on in the game. So if you get this now, this weapon will like, last you for one chapter. So. 
Carry the squawking stick. So you just want to beat the living daylights out of it, and then it should uh, give you a handy little. It'll give you this item called. It'll give you this weapon called the good stick, which is really good. I think it like ups your offense by like twenty percent. But that that weapon will last you for a chapter. It's that good. I don't want to use a peculiar cheese, but I need to use it on Lucas. Okay, stalking stick. I'm trying to kill you. That stalking stick. Right, so I'm just going to grind off these guys so I can get good stuff. You're not, gonna be, you're not gonna be able to buy it till later on, and by then you'll probably have a better weapon than it. So yeah, going back and forth, you know. I don't even know how I back attacked it. Okay then. All right. Okay, come on, dead, dead. These are reconstructed moles. These are actually the mischievous moles uh, from uh, chapter one, but they have been turned into robots. Are you freaking serious? I already died. That was the most unfair thing in the world. What the hell? Let's go around. Will you leave me alone? I had a more Ah, uh, no, go away. But you know what? We will actually get this in a minute because there is something you should probably do before uh, fighting a bunch of squawking sticks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, Rambo. I'm not sure you get that. Right, okay. There's one thing that you should probably do before uh, going and getting a good stick. Let's go over here. Wolf. Oh, they're close. Looks like uh, somebody's naked or something. Woof, 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 woof. It's a weird butterfly thing. Let's go and see what's up here. Oh, there's a house raid. Oh, hello, there you. Oh, it's Sionia uh, from Chapter 1. I, you got me stark naked. Oh, aren't you that boy I met at Aelia's house uh, three years ago? Remember you said you were going to the Dragon Plateau to avenge your mother? I uh, know that was your brother. Oh, that wasn't you? Really? How odd. I'm only on one of the mad gypsies. I know. Dragon right, making me very uncomfortable. This is a magic butterfly colony. I often come here to be revitalized after I've worn myself out by overusing my PSI. Are you here because you overused your PSI too? Oh, you've never heard of PSI? That's odd. I sense, well, I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Oh no, no! Wait, just endure it for a little bit. No! Ah uh, no! Don't destroy- Ah uh, no! Just endure it. No! Yeesh. No! Slow more. Okay. Stop! Why? No! Were you drowning him? What were you doing? Something I woke it. Uh, oh, life up out. Oh, yeah, that's good. Last sleep ever woke up from deep within his heart. PK love. Okay, that's really good. But oh no! Oh my goodness! I can't believe it. You can use PK love. Not even be mad gypsies are able to use it. You sly devil, you. I don't know where you come from, but or where you're going, but we might meet again. So at least tell me your name, Lucas. Thanks, I remember that. Now go. I want to boil up too. You know, I just want to rest in the hot springs, but when you hit the real love hot springs, don't you? So do I. Oh, oh, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Uh, Right, these are called magic butterflies, they will heal some of your PSI, 
Um, they're actually quite, they're actually not common in this game, like in Earthbound, where they would just put them in any random place they could think of. So yeah, now that you've got your PSI crap uh, from Ionia right there, you're actually required to do that and uh, you can now go. Uh, I mean, it's, you should probably uh, be up squawking stick like pretty soon as uh, you want to get your PSI powers. But it is a pretty rare drop from uh, a squawking stick, so don't be surprised if you like don't get it on like your first couple of tricks, because it is pretty rare. Oh, the chicken! I can sell this for a lot of money. I did a mushroom Mushrooms are good for you. Oh crap, I accidentally used the bread roll then. Oh, nice. Good. I don't know, how was that a back attack? How did it back attack it? I don't even know. Right, okay, I think I'm gonna end things off and, uh, and uh, off screen I will just, uh, uh, I'll do some uh, off screen uh, grinding. By that I mean I will uh, do some things off screen until I manage to. Uh, Get the uh, good stick from. Sometimes they will just drop a uh, thing called the regular stick. You just want to get rid of that. It's not the good stick. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching and goodbye.